A very popular amateur radio mode on HF is PSK31. This is a keyboard to keyboard text mode using software running on a computer. It also needs an electrical interface from the computer to the radio. There are a variety of different interface products available, or you could make your own. Commercial products will work on the same principle, which is to provide a means to key the transmitter from the computer and allow a signal generated in software, output from the sound card, to be matched electrically to the microphone input on the radio. Normally the radio is transmitting in single sideband mode so that whatever signal is sent to the radio is reproduced exactly at radio frequency. On receive, the audio signal from the radio is matched to the line input of the sound card so that the software can demodulate and decode the signal. Let's have a look at how the PSK31 signal works in more detail. PSK refers to phase shift keying of a carrier tone. The phase of an unmodulated sine wave increases at a constant rate with time, and we can visualize this as a vector rotating at a speed corresponding to the frequency of the tone. Every time the vector completes a rotation, a cycle of the sine wave is completed. The number of times this happens per second is the frequency of the tone. Phase shift keying uses stepwise changes in the phase of the carrier. The frequency of the tone remains the same. To control the amount of bandwidth taken up by the signal, the tone amplitude is reduced during phase changes following a raised cosine function as shown here. It is absolutely essential to maintain linear conditions to prevent this function from being destroyed and the signal spreading. This is why it's so important to avoid overdriving your transmitter. Periods of time, or the Bode period, are used to sample the phase of the tone regularly so that binary information, or bits, are conveyed. The PSK31 signal encodes keyboard characters using different numbers of bits per character, depending on how frequently the character occurs in English. For example, E, the most frequent character, is encoded using only two bits but Q is encoded using 9. Capital letters use more bits per character than lower case. You can see this in the upper and lower case versions of my call sign, so it takes longer to send text in upper case than it does in lower case. The rate at which data is sent is 31.25 bodes. Since there is only one bit per bode with this signal, this is also the bit rate. The varicode scheme means that the text is sent at about 50 words per minute, but the bandwidth on air needed to send at this speed is just 31 Hz, making this extremely efficient uh, despite the lack of any error correction. Since PSK31 signals can be received and monitored automatically, various volunteer stations around the world spot reports of PSK stations they have observed. Here, a website is showing which stations heard my PSK signals in the last 24 hours. So in conclusion, PSK31 is an attractive mode to start with when exploring keyboard modes. There is activity permanently on air, so you will never have trouble making contact with other people, even with low power. 